hi boys I hope that you're uh, all doing well and that you've had a good week um, good news I suppose that you have to go back to school on Monday or maybe you don't think that but it'll be nice to meet up again with your your friends and the like so that's good uh, so this week um, video Sarah's gonna start off in a wee minute and she's gonna do a thing about superheroes a wee sort of game for you to do and then Stephen's gonna tell us her story we're continuing on in the uh, job occupation series in the Bible and we're going to be looking at a jailer, so someone who was in charge of a jail and he certainly had a night uh, he'd never forget. So uh, hope you enjoy these and I'll speak to you again at the end. So tonight's game is a little bit different. We are going to be playing a game that I've called Superhero Colours. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a question about a superhero and then three different choices of colour and you have to guess which one is correct. So you can either pause this video and go and get a piece of paper and a pen um, to write them down or you can just guess them in your head and then I will tell you the answers at the end. So for example, I might ask you what colour is Batman's suit and you could have the colours of blue orange or black and then you'd have to pick which one is the right answer so batman suit is black and then we would go on from there so i hope you enjoy it um and we'll get started and i'll tell you all the answers at the end so don't worry so what color is the star in the middle of captain america's shield is it blue white or red What is the colour of Superman's cape? Is it blue, green or red? What colour is the Hulk? Is he purple, green or pink? What colour is Thor's cape? Is it black, blue or red? What colour is the background in Batman's logo? Is it yellow, black or orange? What colour is Thanos' adopted daughter Nebula's skin? Is it purple, green or blue? Iron Man's suit is two colours. What are they? Red and orange? red and gold, or yellow and blue. What two colours make up Doctor Strange's outfit? Is it blue and orange, red and purple, or blue and red? What colour is the eye in The Incredibles outfit? Is it red, is it black, or is it yellow? What is the colour of Spider-Man's boot? Are they red, are they green, or are they yellow? Okay, here we go. So these are the answers. So if you missed a question, you can pause the video and rewind it. Um, if you're ready to go, I will tell you all the answers and you'll see a picture as well, just so you know that I'm not lying about it. So the first question was, what colour is the star in the middle of Captain America's shield? And you got blue, white or red as your answers. And the correct answer is white. The star in the middle of the shield is white, as you can see from the picture. The second question was, what colour is Superman's cape? Blue, green or red? And it's red. What colour is the Hulk? Was he purple, green or pink? And as you can see, he is green. Then I said, what colour is Thor's cape? And you got black, blue or red. And the answer is red. His cape is red and his suit is blue. What colour is the background in Batman's logo? Was it yellow, black or orange? And as you can see, it is yellow. What 
What colour is Thanos' adopted daughter's Nebula's skin? That's a real mouthful. Is it purple, green or blue? And as you can see, it's blue! Iron Man's suit is made up of two colours. What are they? Red and orange, red and gold or yellow and blue? And they are red and gold. What two colours make up Doctor Strange's outfit? Blue and orange, red and purple, or blue and red? And as you can see, it's blue and red. What colour is the eye in The Incredibles outfit? Red, black or yellow? And it's yellow. So what colour is Spider-Man's boots? Red, green or yellow? And the answer is red. So well done if you got all those answers correct. I really enjoyed making that and testing my own knowledge of it. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it too. Tonight our story is going to be told to us by Stephen. So I hope you enjoy it and it's coming up next. This week's talk is about Paul and Silas. Paul was in the lone city of Philippi and had shown the power of Jesus to deliver a slave girl from an evil spirit that gave her ability to tell fortunes. Her owners had made money from her fortune telling was furious. They showed up an angry mob who charged Paul and Silas before local churches. They sentenced Paul and Silas to be beaten with loads of clothes in their backs and put in prison. Paul and Silas see for flop and thrown into prison. The jailer was threatened of death if they escaped, so he took no senses. He put them in the inner dungeons and clamped their feet into the socks. Despite being in pain, I treated fairly unfairly. Lord midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns unto the Lord. The old prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly there were a great earthquake. The prison was shaken to its foundations and all the doors flew open. The scenes of every prisoner fell off. The horrified jailer woke up to see the prison doors was wide open. He must have thought the prisoners must have gone or they were trying to escape. Knowing this would mean death for him, he decided to take his own life now and then. He drew a sword to kill himself. But Paul leered at him, Don't do that! We are all here! Soon for him feel, the terror called for the lights, a lamp into the dungeons, a fell down before Paul and Silas. He begged them, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? He replied, Believe on the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, and your entire household. They told him, and all who was living with him, the good news about Jesus. Right away, the jailer was poor and Sarah's wounds. Then he and his family were baptised. The jailer took Paul and Silas back to the house for a meal. The city churches came back to see Paul and Silas the next morning and begged them to leave Philippi after saying goodbye to the new Christians in the city. Paul and Silas continued on with the travels. Well, thanks for that, Stephen. Um, so obviously things in that story could end quite badly for the man who was in charge of the jail. Um, he could have ended up losing his job or even worse, losing his life. But thanks to Paul and Silas and thanks to their witness, uh, the man didn't just save his job, but he actually became a Christian and he, he gained eternal life, both him and his family. And that was wonderful. Um, and God used that situation. Obviously, he was in control of all of it. And he was able to use that uh, for his own glory and to bring those people so that they knew him. And it was really a, a great way uh, for that to end. So that's wonderful. So we're just going to pray now and then um, that'll be us for another week. So let's pray. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you for our story tonight, and we thank you how uh, you used even the bad situation that Paul and Silas were in for your glory and to save the jailer and his wife and family as well. And Father, we know that there are lots of different people in bad situations at the moment and sad situations, and we just pray you would work in their lives and help them and guide them and help them to get through it, Lord. And if they are believers in you, Lord, that you would just be with them and help them in all that they do, Lord. And and for those who don't know you, that they would come to know you as Lord and Saviour of their life. We thank you um, for the boys. We just pray for them as they go back to school on Monday and pray that things would go uh, well as they settle back into their classes. All these things we pray and ask now in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, boys, well, thanks for watching uh, again. So we've got just one more of these left to do, uh, which will be in two weeks' time on the 2nd of April, which, of course, is Good Friday. And uh, it's been fun doing these. It's obviously not the same as BB, but uh, we hope you're getting something out of them anyway. So from Sarah and Stephen and I, we hope you have a great couple of weeks, and we'll see you again for our last video on the 2nd of April, two weeks from tonight. All the best now. Thanks for listening. Bye.